because it was too expensive to build that platform all the way up, so we built it downstairs and then we, we uh, lifted it with vessels, oil vessels, in about a day, including trees, soil, etc., all of it. Um, and that was quite an amazing uh, way of, uh, of making a building. So here you see this uh, rising of the small circular piece of nature that we took out of Switzerland in a way. As I said, we, double, we tried to double it by having trees on top, but also mirroring the under, the, 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 let's say, the, the, the bottom of it. So the, if, if you walk in the forest, the, 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 the beautiful here, the autumn colors are mirrored as well. So it's also almost tripling, tripling nature. And for us, most important was that the building doesn't need any electricity. Uh, there is, uh, it's, it's simply without electricity. Uh, so although your children can experience and can be educated, it doesn't consume energy. And here you see uh, some images of how to, how to move up in the tree by. This is the. English stair, we call it, but uh, there's a rail around it, so here you can uh, pull out the curtain uh, in a couple of weeks so that you can build this huge tent for parties for 200 people in the forest for children, whatever. Or uh, bird's nests that uh, we make, see if, it, if, if it's gonna work. And continuing up to the net under the theater where uh, you can climb and walk in a much more insecure way. Uh, ending up in the theater, a small theater, just under the platform. And then ending up in the new forest that we built. And here uh, we can experiment with pine tree on, on a higher level with more wind more evaporation because of sun and, 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 and wind. Uh, so what types of trees will grow here? And they, this was a nice thing to do because the, the, this, uh, this park was uh, started in 1865 by Mr. Schober. And uh, he started the park by uh, collecting seeds from all over the world and experimenting with pine trees to see which trees grew the fastest, which were the strongest, etc. And this sort of experiment can continue on top here. Uh, and we hope that this uh, sort of uh, brings literally nature closer to, to people. It, that you really have the feeling of, uh, wow, we didn't know that it was like that, a forest. And unfortunately, that's in fact the reaction of the people uh, moving in now. To be honest, this is my favorite just under the platform. Yeah, as I said, it was a sort of uh, architectural experiment and also a joke to, to relate it to a small project in the Swiss Alps. We were uh, amazed by the fact that next to the thermal bath you're allowed to build um, and therefore uh, sort of spoiling the free view from the outdoor bath. Um, so we asked the municipality to uh, it, if we are, uh, if if we buy that piece of land, or if we know someone who can buy it, that we build a house there, but then at least underground, so that the free view is uh, secured. Uh, so first of all, we thought of a real sort of subterranean house, and then later on we said well, the, the the view towards the other side of the valley is so beautiful. We should uh, we should focus on that. This is the this is roughly the view that you have. That's uh, too beautiful not to use it. So we made this round hole, this sort of uh, periscope to the, to the valley. And by excavating, uh, building underground in a small village, in between old barns and other houses, uh, also having a lot of privacy, of, or wanting to make a lot of privacy, we, we came up with this uh, scheme where uh, In the end, we also invented the idea of entering the old barn, a Grandbünder uh, sh shed, barn for animals. 
and entering there and having a subterranean tunnel to the house, you don't need a door. You don't need an entrance door. So it's a completely unspoiled landscape except for that one hole. Um, knowing that this was quite a, an achievement to do and that you need a lot of material, we thought it had to be, it has to be extremely uh, energy efficient. Uh, and of course you can have, you have the active elements, you have activists in that sense that we use only hydroelectric energy from the, uh, from the lake higher up regenerative uh, heat exchange and things, but we wanted to focus on the passive elements, like triple glazing, uh, a huge amount of insulation, uh, um, preheating and cooling of air through uh, ground tubes, um, and of course the general effect of buffering temperature in summer and in winter by using it underground. So it ended up in this uh, proposal. Where at first we had a completely glazed facade. Uh, later on, it turned out that the, the bedrooms you can better have in, uh, you know, solid, uh, less window, uh, and of course for the living room you need more. You want to have more, so we changed the facade a little bit. We we, we kept this uh, sort of concept, um, and we found out that this focus on the hill on the other side was in, in fact very uh, well. And what we learned from the from the chalet type is that the chalets, because they, you need to bring all that material up the mountain and therefore by definition they were built always extremely efficient. Every square inch was used. Um, you even see in uh, structures that the walls are not above each other, but in wood construction they are sort of shifting so that every room has its perfect size, not being uh, you know straight. As you see in the, this is the beautiful uh, house of uh, Baltus in the Griera area, amazing, amazing chalet. Uh, but there you see this, these systems and lower in, in the village here you also see the, uh, the walls not on top of each other. That's in fact what, what we did as well. So we squeezed the bedrooms as compact as possible. So if you sleep you only need like one meter or 150 so you don't need more. Um, and therefore coming up with this condensed form of architecture having only 150 free height where the bed is and then where you walk you have more height. Um, so this was a sort of experiment in, uh, in, in, in hiding the build and, and, and also uh, making as efficient as possible uh, a, a, small, uh, a small housing project. You see the corridor at the back, that is uh, 